I got it, dripping like water. supposed to be some raindrops coming off these trees so oh, there we go hey everybody this is mike from mike stark helmet minecraft server and i am poking around the latest snapshot this is the snapshot from may 31st 2012 and when when rain hits tree leaves we now see water drops coming off of it just a nice little touch so i found a village and uh it's just an ordinary village i I've heard that there's supposed to be pyramids in jungles, and I flew around to a, a ton of jungles, and I still haven't found a single pyramid, so we're going to make do. So I'm sure that many of you heard that emeralds were added in the last snapshot, and one of the changes was that Jeb was going to take out emerald ore, uh, just because, uh, I don't know, several reasons. People thought it was too rare, people misunderstood what he wanted with emeralds, but the community spoke and got Jeb to add it back in. So, one of the additions was a new emerald block. These are crafted the same way you do any other block. You take nine emeralds and place it in your crafting table, and you can kind of bling yourself out. So, emerald blocks. One of the biggest changes is with enchanting. When you have a full power enchanting table, let's go over here and get my... Uh, Let's see, let's get my diamond pickaxe, and let's... Alright, so if we come over here... Obviously, I've given myself a healthy bit of, of XP, just so that we can play around with this. The max enchantment level is 30. It can no longer go up to 50. It, that's just impossible. The other change is that you, you have a much better spread of numbers. So, for example, I have a 7 and a level 30 all in one thing. There's, there's less clicking around that you have to do to try to get the max. The newest change uh, as well is that there's the, the max that you can get, the max XP, the, the 30, is always at the bottom. So you see how that's always there at the bottom. That certainly is going to make clicking around like this <laughs> uh, a lot less painful. So. The other change is that when you do go with a 30, the chances of getting multiple enchantments are extremely high. It used to be actually quite rare that you would get multiple enchantments on a single pickaxe, but uh, it's actually supposed to be very common now. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm terribly excited about that. I, I do like having multiple enchantments, uh, but since it's impossible to repair an enchanted item uh, easily, that will do, that do well. But one of the other additions is that you can also get XP from doing non-mob related things. So if you're mining, uh, you can actually get XP from certain ores, and I'll show you that in a minute. But if we smelt something, so let's say we uh, let's say we smelt one gold ore. I'll wait around for that. At the time of day, just so we don't get killed by anything. When we take this out, we're awarded with XP. You see that one XP that just popped in? Let's do a few more so you can see that again. <laughs> Let's go take care of this guy. Alright, so now, watch my experience level. I only have two. When I take these out, boink! There we go. I got more experience. So that's going to make it a lot easier to get experience points. It, it used to be that you have to go off killing mobs or create some sort of a mob farm, but if you're a miner, uh, like myself, you could just go off mining. So I have a mine over here somewhere. Where did it go? There we go. So let's start down here to the mine. Now, according to the wiki, you do not get experience for iron and gold. So here's some coal, and you can see these XP orbs just breaking out. 
And this is amazing because it means that Sunshine, <laughs> my wife, who never fights mobs really, can go off and get XP. So I've got some gold down here and obviously there's no XP. I'm, I'm not quite sure on the decision for that, but um, only diamond and, and iron, or sorry, gold and iron were listed, so I would imagine diamond um, and, and possibly even emeralds um, give you XP. Boop, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Uh oh, creeper up there. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Maybe I should go trade with a villager to get some food. Aha, thank you. Alright, let's go grab some food. So, one of the other changes is that villagers can now trade two items at the same time. So I'll show you what I mean. If I right click, see how there are two spots? This guy could want two things in exchange. So he wants uh, emerald ore for, or an emerald, sorry, for bread. So I'll go Jackson in my emerald blocks over here. And I imagine, there we go. Good thing that's consistent. Alright, villager, I'm coming to trade with you. Give me your bread, I'm hungry. I don't know who it was, though. Ten for a sword. Wow, that's expensive. There we go. Can we put it in either box? Cool, I can. <laughs> Yay, I'm full. Thank you. So, one of the... Hmm, Sixteen chicken for an emerald. So, I'm not sure if this is an addition or not. I've personally never seen it. Uh, first of all, this is a, quite a weird village in and of itself because it, it spawned in a ravine and the house actually extends all the way down. Uh, I'll have to go inside that house and check it out. But uh, I noticed a little porch over here. I'm not sure if that's something that was new or not. I've never seen one. little backyard. I'm not sure what to call it. I don't even know if I can get in this house. Hey, pig. I guess both of these houses go down. Ah, poo. Oh, backyard. Oh, well. So there have been um, a few other changes. Um, in the last snapshot, you may have noticed a new creative menu. So if I set my game mode to 1, we now have this new creative inventory sorting system so you can more easily find the type of block that you're looking for. If you can't figure out which tab it's on, you can always go to the compass here and do a search. So if I type in uh, FU, it'll show me a furnace. <laughs> Um, so one of the other changes, and let's go all the way back to my little encampment up here. Hey villager, what you got for me? Ah, wish I could. Wish there was a way to tell the the guys apart. They're starting to look a lot alike. All right, so let's come over here, and I'm gonna grab some wood, some string, and some iron, and some sticks. So if you put one wood one stick and one iron, you get a tripwire hook. Now, if you take your string and your tripwire, put one on a block, put the other on a block opposite from it. I'm still creative. Where'd my string go? There we go. Now we need to place string down in there and see how they connect up. Now I've placed some redstone coming off of this block because when the tripwire is tripped, both of these provide power to the block and the redstone will come around to the TNT and I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Trip. Ah. Pretty cool. The nice thing is that that string is it's kind of hard to see when you walk across it, so you got to be careful. That'll be great in adventure maps. Just walking along, doo doo doo, boom. Of course, you could probably hear the the ignition of the T 
TNT. Okay, I left a block over here. Here we go. So there's a new kind of block. This looks like cobble, but it is actually cobble silverfish. So there was... So you're probably familiar with the, the standard stone silverfish that you find in dungeons. When you break the block, the silverfish comes out and tries to get you. Well, now we have cobble silverfish. So that's pretty much most of the changes. Um, I wish I could show you the jungle pyramids, but I wasn't able to find one. Um, there is a new game mode called Adventure, which, uh, according to uh, Jeb, needs a lot more work. It's something where you cannot uh, break or place blocks. You can only interact with things. So it's it's obviously designed more for adventure mode. So that is it. That is the snapshot for Mar uh, May 31st, 2004. See you guys next episode. Now, where did I... Where did I leave my TNT?